Tutorial time with Goldazoa 333. And today I'm going to be showing you how to update those flashcards are for i3DS. Um, if you want anything with DSTT, um, you would you would have to kind of wait on there for a while. But anyway, without further ado, time for the tutorial. Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm going to be showing you how to update this cart here. This cart right here, and um, you'll need to get the download thing from this website here. It's going to be in the description. Um, yeah, so um, a sound sounds better, hopefully. Um, you're going to be downloading the one corresponding to your language. Like English, you click here, and that, you get it. Okay, so now when you're done, you open the file, you can, it will be in your downloads. So you click this. And you should see these two icons. Now I already have a custom moon shell in my, um, whatchamacallit, so I don't need another moon shell. So all I need is the DAT and the R4I menu. That's all I need. Excuse me, sorry. All right, so I'm gonna get into that right now. So, gotta start. Got a computer, and I actually gotta take my SD card. I have a special hard drive since my micro SD thing broke. My SD card slot broke, and I'm unable to put micro SDs in there. So I put that in there. I'm gonna be the files. I'm gonna go to this one and just. All right, so all you do is like just all you do. You drag it. That's it. That's all you do is drag it. You cannot download it. So you just say yes. 1215 conflicts. Move and replace. Um, that's basically all you do. And you say do for all 16 items. Yes. That's going to ask you a few more times, I think. I believe I'm not really sure. I should ask you this. Um, uh, five seconds are up, and let's see, it's almost over. Okay, now that's done. Now you put the th that in, move and replace. Now you're done. You're done with that. Then you unplug the RFRI 3DS. SD card that you use for it. Plus you stick it in here and you stick it in the slot and you turn on your 3DS. You know, this is an R4 3DS. There is no such thing as a DS flash card that plays GBA ROMs except for one. And I'm going to let you find that on your own. If you're interested in GBA ROMs, and that's something you've been asking on some of my videos, does this particular flash card play GBA? And that's no. If you want to play GBA, Get a Game Boy Advance or an old Nintendo DS and get one of these. I'll, I'll, I'll get it for you. Just a second. Where's my G showing you the flashcards you do need to play GBA games. It's very complicated and I don't think you really would be interested in it by all this by the time you figure out all the stuff you gotta do to play them. Okay. Here it is. It's not in here, which is odd because I thought I had my GBA flashcard here. Why me, people? Why me? But it looks like a Game Boy Advance flash card with a mini SD card in it. But I know I had it here somewhere. Anyway, 
That's basically all it is. It's, it's, it's this. It's this easy flash. Yeah, I, I don't have it right now, but I, cer I, I certainly come back to the update video when I, I have it. And you can... I'm going to show you the actual flash truck because I'm not sure where I put it. So I'm going to be continuing with this. Um, so you stick it in here, obviously. And since the up does not hasn't been an update in a long time, and yeah, have top spin. Um, the same thing, the same function goes on with every update. So expect the same from each video. So you go to config. You know, this thing, the upgrade. And now, see how it says start. You have to download it manually. You cannot use the upgrade function. It's automatically. So you click start. And it's going to verify the upgrade. Now, do not, and I, by all means, do not turn off your DS. You will wreck the thing. You will destroy it. You will break it entirely. Um, so I know you can't really see it real well, and I do apologize. But once it's, so this takes a while, and once it's done, um, you know, I'm going to take it, I'm going to take some, sorry you can't hear me now, because the headset is on! Okay, so, the reason why I haven't been uploading much lately, I do have a PVR battle, I'm going to, I did a live recording and narration and whatnot, but the live recording has not worked to my favor. It's just me complaining and complaining and raging. So I'm going to narrate it. Things so it doesn't seem like I'm really mad and annoyed at the battle. So I'm going to do that. And you know, because I don't like complaining about all that stuff. Like, oh, he hacked me. And it's all luck. It's a luck based game. You get crits, critical hits every time. You get crit. And, um, and that's it. Mm -hmm. It's writing the update and a lot of stuff, so. And Pop Gaming Crackers are Swiss. Now we're gonna finally test the Pokemon Black Works. I'm going back to Yeah. And you're gonna shit through this upgrading process. So you know why? Mark those jerks that cut it off and say so, Oh it's updated. I wanna make sure it's not fake. It's all on tape. It's being upgraded. There it is, and it's almost done. Upgrading success. Please restart console. And that's how I restart my 3DS. There you go, that is the icon that you should receive. Let me get a little closer on that for you. Yep. Now well, that is a sexy icon. Oh, so they used the demo version to exploit the... And now, this is interesting. Our Fry 3DS. 
Now we were going to be checking if Pokemon Black works. Pokemon Black 2. You're going to check if this works. You know, oh my god, oh my god, it works! Okay, I'm done. Seriously, I am so done. Okay. But now we know it works, and it's just to prove that Pokemon Black 2 does work. Are you going to see the intro of Pokemon Black 2 just to see if it works? The entire thing in English. And the Pokemon clock's going off at the same time. There's you. There you go, son. There you go! But this did not work before on the previous update. So now it does. So now you know r 4 3DS is keeping up with the current game. Yeah. Let's go a little PC here. And... Yeah, and by the way, if you have an r 4 3DS, this does tend to happen. When you try to reset the game, it's going to come up as this white screen. So if you want to reset the game, you have a DSi, XL, or 3DS, just press the lightly tap thing that gets in the main menu. With 3DS, just press home. Or you can use your RFRI's reset to reset to the RFRI menu. Sometimes that doesn't work either. So I recommend using the home button or the, the soft reset. I'm going to GSI or GSI XL. And I hope you enjoy a nice Pokemon Black 2 English. So I hope you enjoy it next time for more video content from me. So let me know when you want to see that GBA flashcard. And I'll give you the link somewhere to get one. And let me tell you something it was expensive. Yeah, that's right. It was like 40 bucks. So see you next time for more updated adventures.